in the category of monologue from Eastern Canada. Let's give it up for Tyler Binda. There were happy days long ago when my brother and I would put out into the Sea of Galilee, visiting one of our regular sweet spots just off the shore of Capernaum. The weight of the net. I mean, we would put everything we had to those ropes, straining, bending our backs to it. The palms of our hands were burnt from the tough rope. But soon, we'd be back at it. Tossing the empty net over the waves and hauling its new catch back in. <laughs> those, those were the days. How I long for those days of happy ignorance. I wonder now if I'll ever again know such peace. For the past three years, I've lived with God. And now, and now, I've had a hand in killing him. Last night, after they buried Jesus, I went out into the city. The streets were silent and black. I was so afraid that someone would see me and identify me with, with, with him. I was so ashamed, but... I couldn't stop being afraid for myself. In my mind, I remembered what Jesus had said, that there was a reason for his dying. But in my heart, I saw only a coward who denied even knowing him. He had trusted me. And I thought only of myself. <laughs> now, for the first time since that day that Jesus had called me, I could no longer feel him beside me. I was alone. So very much alone. The path was still muddy from the storm. I tripped on the wet stones in the dark. I prayed that a ball of lightning would strike me down and end my wretched misery. But soon, I was there. And that ugly stand of wood was still there. Try as I might, I couldn't keep my eyes from traveling up that post to the crossbeam of which he was placed. God in heaven! My heart was ripped into two by what I saw. The spikes still there, still embedded in the wood, still painted with his blood. I couldn't look on that cross without seeing the dying body of Jesus. I, I knew the cross was empty. I knew he was no longer there, but he was. He was. And I put him there. My cowardice put him there. But... If, as my heart tells me, I alone am responsible for his death, then that would mean Jesus died only for me. But no, 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 that's not what he said. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life a ransom for many. No. We all put him there. The soldiers drove the spikes, but we all held him down so they could. We all left him there to die, stripped of his dignity, stripped of his friends. Jesus died for all of us, not just me. We're all guilty for the sins of which he died. It was an ugly way to die. But then, he died for ugly things, didn't he?
All right, let's give it up for Tyler Binder from Canada East. We got any Canadians in here? Where you at? Let me see your hands. All right, Canada. All right, Canada. 